Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Several people have been asking about table calculations, so I'm putting this video together. Hopefully this will help you. It may not get into all the details, but it should get you well on your way. Actually, let's start by looking at sales by state. And what table calculations are doing is rather than just calculating for a particular line, it's taking these, it's creating a calculation over the entire table, hence the name table calculations. So in this case, we have a German state and this customer segment that I've created, and we've got sales. And this is nice, but what we really would like to see is how, what percentage is based on frequent travelers versus local only and normal travel. So we'll come under sales, sum of sales, left click, and there's two items down here, add table calculation, and you can do that. It's a little bit involved and intimidating at the beginning, but so I recommend, and this is what I usually do, is quick table calculation. And there's several options that'll pop up. Running total, difference, percent difference, percent total, rank, percentage, on and on. And you'll notice that some of them are grayed out. Those require uh, the year, the date um, at the year level to be added. And maybe I'll talk to you about that in just a second. So for a table here where I'm just trying to identify what is the percent that's frequent travelers versus normal traveler, come to table calculation, and I'm going to just say percent of total. And it gives me a percentage. Now this is where it gets a little bit confusing for people. If you look at the percentage, you'll notice that these do not add up to 100%. It only adds up to well, 6% or something like that. And that's because this is percentage is being calculated on the total table. Now to fix that, come over to sum of sales and you can tell if there's a table calculation, it'll have this little triangle and you'll left click again, arrow, and now you've got a couple other options down here. Compute using, and you'll see there's a whole mess of options here, there's table across, table down, customer segment, state, and once you get familiar and comfortable with the whole concept, you can come and just quickly make the change. What I'm going to do and what I recommend for the, if you're starting out, is to come under this edit table calculation. All right, so you'll pull up another menu. And if you were to do the add table calculation from before, this is the menu that would pop up. It tells you the type or calculation you're using. We're soon doing percent of total. And here's all those other options that you had available. And here, compute using. Are you going to do a table across? Meaning, we want to calculate the percentage based across. So if we select that one, you'll see that all of them are 100%. Well, that doesn't make any sense. So then we go table down. We're going all the way down. Now. You see this little checkbox here, show calculation assistance. I'd leave that on. Uh, this really helps. It'll show you what values are being used or what rows are being included in your calculation. The whole table, in this case, you only have one column, so that's going to be the same. And now look at pane down. This is just this pane for the state. And that is giving us the value that we want. If you were to keep continue, uh, because you only have one pane, it's the same. If you were to do the cell, once again, calculating it off of this cell is just 100%. Uh, specific dimensions. Here, it's counterintuitive to me. We'll touch on this a little bit um, in the next, next element here. Actually, we'll go to it right now. Oops, I need to come back. So we, we accidentally did come down here compute using I accidentally selected something really what I want to do is I want to do pain down so let's just select pain down and now we get the percentage now watch what happens when we bring in segment this is business and personal okay this gives us it's still broken out by pain let's go back to the edit table calculation and it's got pain down Let's see if we click select the entire pane, it's still just the pane. But we want to do this based on the entire state. 
So that's where your specific dimensions come in. Now that you've got specific dimensions, you can select various items here, these different uh, dimensions. And the ones that you select are the ones that the percentage is going to be calculated across. To me, I think it should be, you'll see what I mean. So right now we have customer segment and that's used for the, to calculate the 100%. Now that we've included segment, we've included this segment here and now the 100% is based at the state level. See, the state level is not uh, calculated. If you were to select it, then you are back to using everything. You want to include that breakdown in the 100% calculation. And so we don't want that. We're just going to leave it just like here. Once we have that, we can grab the sales sum and we can drag it over to the data pane. And now we have, I'm gonna just call this sales by state, uh -oh. percent, sales by segment. And we can come and edit. You can see the formula that Tableau is using to calculate this function. I'm actually going to come in here and I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this Windows or Window Sum. Uh, there's another video you can take a look at that talks about the nuance between total and window sum. In this case, it's the same. And so I'm just going to use that so it's a little bit easier to follow. So what Tableau is doing is it's taking the sum of sales, right? So for this particular line, it's taking that sales value and it's dividing by the sum, windows sum of this expression. And you're saying, well, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense to me because windows sum, if we're looking at everything in the window, wouldn't that make this that small percentage again? Yes, it would. But that's where it comes here. Results are computed along customer segment and segment. And so that's where you have to create that uh, calculate using. And that's where that comes into play. Let's look at another example. We're going to do sales by month. So we want to create another uh, moving average for sales. So let's bring sales over. If Sometimes it may not work if you were on a state. Like here, if you wanted to bring over sales again, it may not work. And so you just have to change it to the table calculation and then add the, the sales pill. We want to do a moving average. So come here. Let's add a table calculation, moving average. And so there's our moving average. A little bit tough to see. So let's, let's add that and synchronize. And so we've got the two colors. You can see the dark blue is the moving average. Well, that's great, but how many months is it taking? These are all in months. How many months is it taking? I, want, I need to understand, maybe I want different months range. Come under Edit Table Calculation. And you can see it says average of two, the previous two months and the next zero months. Maybe that's okay. Maybe you want it to, and all I did was just left click this little arrow pulls up this other menu and you can change it. Let's change it to six. And you've got the add, you've got the, the showing the calculation assistance and tells you which, you know, the numbers for the months. You have this option here, if there's not enough values, so at the front end, the first six don't have enough, so you can get rid of those. I'm gonna leave them in. And that is, across how I was expecting it to be, because you're going across. Well, let's do the same thing here. Let's grab the sales, we'll drag it over. Gives you a calculation, let's just call this uh, moving average sales, six months. We just call it 6M. And let's take a look at what that shows. There's that window function again, 
And what it's doing is it's saying, give me the average of what's in the window. I want to take the average of the sum of sales. And then here you'll see the little pop-up says, start and end. This is saying go back six and forward zero. All right, well, where's the start and where's the end? We want the, and these are actually offsets. So we're going back six and zero. So that's the average, and so if you came here, you could go and you could manipulate that. You could make that a parameter. You could do that some sort of other calculation. And so that is how you create. Uh, that's what that looks like. Let's do, let's change this now. You'll see that this is now moving sales, so we'll have to, let's get rid of that. Bring over sales again. And this time we want it to be percent difference and I'm going to make this you can see that there's a little triangle so that means it's a table calculation here's the triangle table calculation I'm going to just change this to bar because I like those as bars and now as you look you can tell okay this is a big jump I wonder how big of a jump it was no that's March 2015 here's March 2015 255 percent and so that is how the percent difference looks. We could also change it to just the difference. Um, just come down here and we can just say difference. You can see it's bouncing around zero. You can also do the running, where is that? Running total, if that's what you want. Here's something interesting. So I'm going over to the Pareto chart. We've had this one before. I created the field previously. So here's the Windows average again. I'm taking it over this expression, sum of sales, but I'm omitting the start and the end. So that's going to give me this, the average of all the sum of sales from start to end. And because this is the sum of sales, actually I just need to bring this over and replace that. That's one line, and you can see there's a little uh, di little triangle again. I already created a function that included a table calculation, and when I bring it over, it indicates that it's a table calculation, and I can do the adjusting, I can compute using. Anyway, what I wanted to show you is that this average, this line is the bottom line there, is that 108. It's the same line as if you come here, you add a reference line. Average will show value. We'll click OK. And now you see there's the average line. So it's the same thing. So now you have the formula for this average that you could then use in creating some sort of other calculation or segmentation or adding color or whatever. That's a really fast look at table calculations. Introduced you to Windows, the window function, sorry, sum and average. So let me know what you think. If there's something else you were hoping to see, love to hear from you. Keep those comments coming. Thanks for watching.